guys welcome to our youtube channel and i hope everyone is doing great uh, today this is our fourth video na tumeamua kutembea along this uh, special road in Ituanga eastern bypass so tumekuja kupata motivational at least tumekuja kukuwa motivated na one of my friends here who is really doing well by selling chickens around this area so tunataka kujua vitu mob kumuhusu ndio at least kama kuna mtu huko nje maybe anafikiria kitu ya kufanya na na kuna pesa kidogo at least anaweza motivate some of us huko nje na tunaweza fanya something constructive so eh unaweza nifuata pole pole so that at least anaweza introduce na tujue more about his business okay what is your name my name is Solomon Musioka Nazin uh, uh, ulianza hii biashara yako lini na ulianza na pesa ngapi na inakupeleka aje so far Actually I was almost giving up na life but nikaongea na mse mmoja alikuwa anafanya tu kazi tu alikuwa actually alikuwa ameanza kufanya kazi ya chokora tulikuwa tunafanya naye kazi ya mjengo Sasa huyo kijana akakuja akaniambia si mtu akitukusanya pesa save save kidogo anaezaanzisha biashara mimi nikafanya almost in the next three weeks nikakuja nikaanzisha tu hii biashara ya kuku nikaona yeye hiyo idea ni poa nikatumia maadhe huko shags do akanikusania kuku akanitumanishia hapa na hii ilikuwa december holidays sasa hii hii ndio stock niko nayo saa hii kwa january but bila alinitumanishia kuku nilianza na na ningependa ni, ni, kujua ilikuwa mwaka gani na ilikuwa pesa ngapi ulipatia eh, mzazi wako pesa ngapi na ulikuwa ume, umeweza kufanikiwa kuikusanya kwa muda gani it's almost 2 years now na nilifanya tu kazi almost a month. Nikilikuwa tunafanya kazi ya barabara unalikuwa unalipa 1000 kwa siku. By then unalipa transport, chakula, unapata unabaki tu na 300. Hiyo 300 ndio nili save, nika save, nika save and the, for one month nikapata pesa ya stock. Nilitumanishiwa kuku 15. Nilikuwa holidays za December hapa date 2021 20, nikatumanishiwa. Ulikuwa ulikuwa aje na hiyo confidence that ukileta kuku 15 zitaenda na na azin uli, ulijua aje ulikuwa umepata idea kutoka kwa nani hii barabara tukijenga nilinotice hii barabara tukijenga watu wengi hawana hiyo idea na by then hakukua kumeoka kuku na msee yeyote sasa vile nili save do nikaleta kuku nikakuja nikaongea na mtu mmoja hapa kaniambia unaweza hawa watu wa vibanda kaniambia unaweza pata space ukiongea kanijulisha na mwenye hapa sasa na nirendishanga like 1000 per month na hiyo 1000 unafanya unapata in Two to three months, two to three hours umepata. Juu saa hii ni januari. Eh hey, januari ni kunoma. Unapatanga unauza kuku like. Kienda sana, tatu, tano. But kutoka Fridays na weekend. Eh hey, na uzanga hadi tati. Oh sawa. So, inaonekana kazi yako imepunguka januari. But uh, do you have any plans maybe the future kufungua biashara kama hii ama mtu akikupitia kazi nyingine unaweza kufanya wachane na hii. Eh hiyo ni idea poa juu. By the time nilikuwa naanzisha hii kuku nilikuwa unategemea wa customers tu wakupita either unaita mtu unamsalimia unamwambia karibu ni kuzie kuku. Kitu kama hiyo but like saa hii na niko na order za hotel sita napelekanga like Tuesday, Thursdays na Saturday na kuna hoteli inapelekanga kuku 30. Hizo kuku inapelekanga kama zimechinjwa na kila kitu iko prepared. Unapata sasa nikienda soko ni lazima nikuje na kuku like 70, 80 ama so juu ya hizo mahoteli. Ndio na mimi nisiwafailishe juu that is my daily income. Hapo ndio napatanga pesa. So sasa hii ni as in, uh, 
mtu uh, Mungu akituma hapa mtu no uitiwe uh, kazi ya uh, 50000 unaweza wacha hii kazi yako uende ufanye hiyo kazi eh yeah, hapana siwezi wacha hii kazi yangu juu most of the times in a day like sasa January unapata anga nikipata faida mingi ni almost 2k 3k but sasa weekends napata anga like hata uh, unaweza pata 10000 in a day inadilangana na customers juu sasa saima customers wale wangu wengi wanajua namba yangu nimewapea tu ni simu eh hey bro nichinjie kuku nichinjie hivi hivi napitia nikichukua analipa so size stegemeangi sana wale wa kupita mostly niko na wateja kwa simu na tungependa kuona at least mali unachinjia unachinjia anga wapi juu tukiangalia hapa tunaona pana kama alipa dogo so una, unafanyia anga wapi kazi ya kuchinja na ku, maybe kutengenezea watu hizo kuku zikuwe tayari Oh, most customers ya wabebangi most customers unapata tu wale wanabeba tu za kwenda kuchinjia kwa nyumba ni kidogo but niko na place na chinjianga mtu akinunua na mchinjia naweza kuonyesha mahali na chinjianga sawa unaweza kupeleka tuone mahali unachinjia hii ndio jiko hii hii ni makaa hii ni makaa hii ndio jiko hii ni maji moto ukikata kuku unaweka hapo unatoa manyoya unakuja hii ni hii ndio meza ya kuchinjia hii hii ni ndio ya kuweka maji kesi ukishachinja ukitoa hizo mara Maini unaoshea hapa kila kitu unaoshea customer unaleta hapa hii ni kitambaa ya kupanguza mesa hii ndio kisu yenye nafanyanga kazi nayo hii hii ni maji yangu ya kunywa hapa kuna karatasi za kufungia customer kuku at least ndio aende akifurahia next time akuja akununulie kuku na unamwambia asante ndio next time am motivate akuja kwa biashara umefanya kazi leo kweli tunaweza taka kuona kama kuna mali umeweka maybe zenye ume ume ume, ume kata juu unajua huku nje kuna vijana wengine wa Eh yeah. nimefanya kazi hii ni takataka ya kuku hapa kuna unaona hii ni west oh. hii ni west ya kuku sasa nalipanga mtu wa takataka ananibebea anaenda kutuka Oh sawa sawa Sanji. At least uh, guys as umeona uh, tumeona huko kijana at least anafanya kazi poa sana anajituma just imagine anatengeneza like 2 to 3k a day Hiyo ni biashara poa by the sana so ukiwa huko nje na ume lose hope usi lose hope Yeah. at least unaweza save kitu na uanze unaweza anzia mahali from scratch so unaona yeye at least ameanzia hapa ameanza kutengeneza do hata kama biashara eh, hii January mpeleki vizuri but at least anaweza tengeneza like 15 to 2k per day venye ametuambia so ukiwa huko nje eh, don't lose hope try doing something at least and god will always be there to at least to push you to push you harder eh, so guys kitu tunataka kufanya next sasa ni tunataka kwenda kwake e, at least amefurahi amekubali kutukaribisha kwake tuone maisha anaishi ndio isikuwe ni kama watu wengine wanatuambiaga huku nje ati oh sijui mtu anafanya nini na wacha tuende tuone maisha anaishi at least tujaribu kuona kama hii biashara inampeleka vizuri ama haiko uh, sawa So utakubali utupeleke kwako at least ma viwasu wangu waweze kuona maisha yako ah ni sawa tunaweza enda bro sawa. Aye. So guys follow me kwa nyumba yake. Tuone venye maisha naishi. So guys tushafika kwake at least tunataka tuone maisha yenye naishi ndio tupate motivation pia sisi huku nje at least tungangane tutafute pesa at least tukwe tuone kama tunaweza ishi maisha yake ama. So hapa uh, ndio kwangu hii ndio gate ya kuingia sawa tunaweza ingia. Feel free to ask anything in our team. Okay, Santi Sama. Santi Sama. So guys, hapa ndiyo kwa Solomon. Na ukingia hivi kwa Solomon. The first place ni sitting room. So tukona hizi viti hapa. Na tunona viti zake ni poa sana by the way. Zime blend na nyumba vizuri. Eh, na ni set by the ni set set ya 5 sita as you can see ni hiyo na hiyo na ziko in blue in color mm, na tungependa kusikia kutoka kwa kwa Solomon ulinunua pesa ngapi hizi viti zako set ya hizi viti nilinunua 60000 alinunua 60000 so na ulinunua zinuapi alo eh nilinunua 
Apo tau nili acali nili nili tisha tau nika lete wa nili buku nika lete wa apa wali nipi a free transport ndi o mana nili oda o sawa so guys as you can see <hesitation> eh, ya li viti zake zili toka town so the next thing to nona kwa nyumba yake to nona ko na tv stand a very beautiful tv stand tiko apa na kuna tv apo ju <hesitation> eh, eh, e tv yake venye nime notice ni android tv So the same TV, we, ni, ne, features zake ni same kama za simu. Anything that you can do with your telephone, udezafanya na pia hii TV. Eh, what next? Tunaona pia hapa kuna system, music system. Yenye, eh, at least ime blend pia na nyumba na inaka ni ngoma akiwachilia hapa ni kama majirani. Usi unasumbua nanga na majirani sana huko. Eh lakini wanawashimu sio kangi sauti mingi vile. Huwa naweka tu ile ya kawaida tu. Oh. Eh, so guys, mwana nyumba yake venye na kala fa kuna carpet, carpet ya blue in color. Carpet by the ime blend vizuri sana na nyumba. Mm, imefanya at least hii nyumba inakaa vizuri. So m- At least najua mko motivated sana. Unaona kijana anauza kuku mali penye amejifikisha na maisha. So pia nyinyi mjue at least biashara ndio kila kitu sahi hapa Kenya. Kama unataka kuendelea haraka haraka just uh, try doing uh, maybe business. Business ndio everything kwa hii ni sahi. So tumeona hapa very beautiful curtains. Hizi curtains ziko green in color. They are very beautiful by the way. Zinaka material ni ya silk. They are shiny. Na ziko set, ni set, ni set. So at least zime blend na nyumba vizuri sana, zime cover uh, window vizuri sana. Na zi, at least ziko ziko sawa. So ukitaka darkness kwa nyumba pia zina zinaleta uh, as in hiyo darkness yenye nataka. Na kama pia ni lighting zina at least zina zi, ni zile za ku za ku za ku swing, ni ku swing. <laughs> Eh za kusi. So hii ni one bedroom. Eh hey, ni one bedroom. Tumependa ah. utupeleke kwa kitchen yako tuone venye kitchen inakaa. Oh sawa unaweza. Ama tunaweza anza na huko ni nini kwa huko? Wacha tuanze bedroom ndio tukuje tukitoka. Oh sawa. Haya. Hii hii ndio bedroom yangu. Yeah. Hii hii ndio bedroom yangu. Hii ni kitanda. Kuna sahani pia ya DS. Hii ndio mfuko yangu ya nguo. Na hii ni wardrobes. Na hii ni meza yangu ya kufanyia kazi. Oh. So guys as you can see eh, bedroom yake inakaa vizuri sana. Eh, ukiangalia kwa hii view at least bedroom yake inakaa vizuri. So guys najua mko motivated, mko motivated bedroom. So hivi ndio bedroom inakaa Let me let me shoot. So guys, this is the wardrobe here. It's a very beautiful wardrobe. You can see this is where Aneka staffs zake za kujipaka in that huku chini pia anaweza akona space yake ya ku yenye anaweka staffs zake So guys tushaona huko so nataka tuende pole pole hadi kwa bathroom hii ndio bathroom yake inakaa hivyo iko na shower juu So kuna hot shower hapa unaweza oga na in case wewe ni mtu unapenda maji moto hapa unaweza oga na maji moto usikie vizuri ndio hiyo toilet and it's a very big eh, bathroom So next next wacha niwapeleke kwa jikoni So ndo hii jikoni yake I have beautiful curtain over there kuna kwa hapo then hapa chini tuko na kuna fridge tuko na fridge alafu huko kwa jikoni kuna eh, back door hii ni huko nyuma bali anaeka staffs zake 
hii ni mlango ya nyuma ya jikoni so hapa ndo anapikia tunaona kuna jikokoa hapa ya kuokolea maisha in case gasi yake imeisha na maybe ana pesa ya kutosha so that is it next eh, tumeona pia ramtom hapo so wacha tuende huko sitting room tukimalizia malizia so hapa hizi curtains za silk amesema linunua at 3500 mm, what next e, yeah 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 that is it that is it thanks guy for watching and please ensure that at least you may subscribe please 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 for more videos na video next uh, we are touring ndasema uh, ndasema ndasema just keep tuned and wait for the next minute